open up tonight's public hearing on uh, Article 2 of the March elections that says, shall we allow the operation of Keno games within the town of Rollinsford? And just so everyone knows, the uh, warrant article, uh, the language comes from the uh, state, New Hampshire State Lottery Commission, and the board has uh, reviewed this, and the board itself, this is not a petition warrant article, this is the board, a board's warrant article, and it comes with the re recommendation of the select board. It will be voted on at the Tuesday ballot, just a simple majority, but it will be voted on at the Tuesday ballot. And having said all that as background information, I will open it up to, to, to comments from the public. Well, I just I just came down. Right? Could I just add, you know, sure. just, Go ahead. just so that Go ahead. You just say your name and where you, oh. where you live? And just... Ken Shorey, I live on Silver Street. Thank you. I just came down representing the American Legion because we're interested in having that down there. It'll give us a little more income. Thank you. I don't expect a whole lot, but whatever a little bit we can get, well, you know. Yeah. I think that's what Mark Mark Bowen had told us when he came, because he, he came to us uh, in January, I think, yeah. curious about this. And he said, you know, it's not going to bring people to me, but it may keep no. people there a little longer. Mm -hmm. You know, may add, you know, just a little bit of interest. So yeah. that was uh, the Dover Bowl, the Dover Bowl yeah. opinion as well. And you are the only uh, two, two of the three sites in Rollinsford. Mm -hmm. Dover Bowl, the American Legion, and Alexander's. Oh, Alexander, have they? Because of their liquor yeah. license, apparently. They're the only ones allowed. They're not, I don't oh, yeah, know if they're I interested. Yes. But they're the only other site that could, mm -hmm. that could uh, do the games, just based on their liquor license. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it requires liquor license? In order it to requires do it? something like that, yes. Comments or questions? Yeah, Charlie just, Dion. Thank you. I think it requires a liquor license and food. You have to have both. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Let's, but we have both. So. Yeah, just, no. Let's just try to keep the comments here towards the here. I hate to be so yeah, formal so about it, but you know it's a public hearing, so to the extent that I know we're a small town, but we should really try to do that. Nancy. Nancy Dion. I'm in, for, I'm in favor of it because I think that it would um, help the American Legion and help Dover Bowl with it and... It would show that we're willing to give them the license to do do things like that. Okay, thank you. Lorraine? Lorraine Hansen, Watson Lane. I definitely think we should support it because I'm in favor of anything that might help the Legion. The Legion's done a lot for our town. I'd like to do anything we can do to help the Legion. Thank you. Hey, uh, <laughs> Uh, so Robert Duke, he's our manager down to the uh, Legion Canteen area. Okay. I asked him to come along if anybody had any questions of us. You know. Is there anything that you'd like to say, either in favor of Kino or <clears throat> anything you might like to add? I, I think it is. Just repeat your name so that our... Uh, Robert Duke, I'm the um, manager of the American Legion here in Rollinsford, and um, I think it gives the uh, American Legion an opportunity to make more funds to keep the you know American Legion open as we're as we're a nonprofit organization times are tough you know supporting the the building and the facilities that we have that we offer to the town you know whenever they need them mm -hmm. and you know we need to we need to get money from wherever we can the eight percent that will that will make will definitely definitely help us plus it also is going back to the you know the school system the money that it makes within the state of New Hampshire so it's I think it's a win-win for everybody it's not like as if we're opening up a casino and we're going to have all that you know off track betting and stuff it's just a game of you know Keno and um, I think it, it would help us greatly you know an alternate way of earning some money that we, you know, we put back in the community. We try to help the community any way we can. Absolutely. Well, I probably shouldn't say this because this is not necessarily part of the public hearing on Kino, but it is an opportunity for us to thank the Legion for the times in the past where it has opened up its building for our town events, and we do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'll now get us back into the <laughs> public hearing on Kino. Is there anyone else who would like to speak about authorizing Kino, Kino games within the town of Rollinsburg? 
I'm from uh, Denise Knowles, uh, Silver Street, Marlinsford. Um, I'm certainly in support of it if it, it supports our local um, businesses that are entitled to it. I don't know much about it, so I'm not sure I can even offer anything else other than I would support it going for these um, businesses. Thank you. Just as a, a background information, uh, we would get whatever money, I, I don't know exactly what the formula is, but whatever money is generated by Kino Games in the state of New Hampshire, we would get some portion of it, regardless of whether or not mm -hmm. we authorized it. So just, just so everybody is clear right. on that. Right. That's correct. <clears throat> More times we authorize it than a larger, the, the pool of available funds. Absolutely. I yes. have a question, Dennis. Could you yeah, thank you. You know who I am. <clears throat> um, what are the outlets for that? Does it start like at 6 in the morning till 12 at night? I don't know the answer to that question. I can, can answer. we ask Mr. Duke? What's your Duke? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Duke? The uh, keynote runs from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So at the American Legion, we will only run it for the hours that we're open. Okay. You know. Is that also on Sunday? Yes. So it's seven days a week? Yes. Can I ask a question? When you said we will get funds for it, do you mean the school or the yes. town? Yes. Uh, this well, I was. It was a greater we. It is the school district. Okay, but the town doesn't get any revenue source from that. No, right? it no. Goes to it the, is the school, school. The school district to and fund kindergarten. Okay. In my indirect way, you know, as Mr. Duke will probably be able to attest to, if they get Kino and Ten at the canteen, people may spend a little more time there, so they may have another drink, or they may have some more food, whatever you're serving <coughs> that day, the same as at the Dover Bowl, so we get more, potentially more money in rooms and meals revenue. Right if there's more money brought, I mean, again, it's a larger pool statewide, so potentially there is, but it's all going, the actual Kino, I don't want to say pot, because that's a, <laughs> kind of a joke, I guess, it could be the jackpot, but it goes uh, to the school district. If I may add, um, yes. where Dover did not uh, vote to have it, we are already drawing people to, you know, our our facility, and I'm sure that the bowling alley is doing the same. That are you know looking to to get it. You know, uh, Summer's Worth is picking up some of the uh, overflow from the Rochester people, and we'll pick up people from. You know the Dover area, and then the curious, the curious ones from from the South Berwick and Berwick area. Foster's has been very good about advertising how excited Summersworth is to have Kino games and yeah. one or Look two. Look at the money houses. they're making. Yeah. Yeah. All right, is there anyone else who would like to speak to this um, proposed Warren article? Going once, going twice, going. Thrice, I will close the public hearing and thank you all for coming and expressing.